The awards took place in Southbank Centre's Royal Festival Hall in London where many famous faces attended in celebration of the television and film industry. Dame Helen Mirren was in attendance and delivered a beautiful speech dedicated to Queen Elizabeth II, who died in September 2022. Presenting the tribute, Helen took to the stage and began, BAFTA's relationship with Her Majesty was long-standing and BAFTA would not be what it is today without her loyal support. She supported over 50 cultural organizations and in 2013 it was her turn to be honored with a BAFTA in recognition of the Queen's outstanding patronage of the film and television industries. Cinema at its best does what Her Majesty did effortlessly, bring us together and unite us in a story. During the clip that was being played to support Helen's speech, a voice clip of Her Majesty was played where she said, with the creative genius of artists. Whether they be writers, actors, filmmakers, dancers or musicians, we can see both the range of our cultures and the elements of our shared humanity. Helen concluded her speech, Your Majesty, you are our nation's leading star, on behalf of BAFTA, thank you for all you have done for our film and television industry. Before moving on to the next award, Richard added, Yes, thank you, Your Majesty, for everything. As the camera panned to the audience, William and Kate applauded the speech looking emotional at her kind words. The Prince and Princess of Wales' appearance at the 2023 BAFTAs came as a surprise to royal fans as they hadn't attended the event since 2020. The couple arrived at the event to watch the ceremony take place before meeting category winners and EE e. Rising Star Award nominees. William and Kate were watched on by royal fans as they arrived on the red carpet after being unable to attend last year due to diary constraints. Kicking off the ceremony, Richard and Alison took part in a skit which saw Richard in a pre-recorded clip involving Steve Martin. Dot blue swimming viewers fume get her off at Jane Moore he soon rushed to the BAFTA ceremony to meet up with Allison who joked he was late for his makeup appointment. However, many fans were unimpressed with the opening of the show and expressed their thoughts on their Twitter accounts. At underscore Maxib slammed, well that's the hashtag BAFTA's off to a suitably toe-curling start then, with that Sheriff Stone echoing, this introduction to the BAFTA's is actually cringe hashtag BAFTA's. Jan Whaley raged, hashtag BAFTA's who the hell is this murdering a classic song? If this is the best they can do then it's time for the off button. Dreadful. Son Notley added, I might be turning off before a single award is given hashtag BAFTAs. Sick, some winners from the award ceremony included All Quiet on the Western Front, Elvis, The Banshees of Inishurin and EE e. Rising Star Award, and the Mackey. Austin Butler won the award for Best Actor for his performance in Elvis, with Kate Blanchett taking home Best Actress for her performance in Tarp. BAFTA's 2023 is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.